That's how you know that I'm a nerd. When I took the corner, uh, all the books slid. And uh, this is what I do with my free time. We've got Chinese. <laughs> I'm at a super basic level of Chinese. I'm just making flashcards. Um, but I thought this was really pretty, so I'm going to look at it and probably not understand anything. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, Greek, I'm kind of just dabbling and playing with it. Not really anything um, worthy of mentioning much more than that. And then I actually read half of this in the line uh, to get my medicine. Um, I think I'm going to read it out loud for you guys. And um, there's lots of issues I have. I'm I'm so far out of practice. So a lot of the basic words, I'm like, I know I used to know that word, but I don't remember what it means. And I can't put it into a sentence to make sense out of it. Um, but I got four. The library, I've been requesting for like uh, over a year now, probably since we've lived here. I don't know. Um, to get Hindi books. And they finally got Hindi books. So for children's books, that's... That's my level. They had a couple that were just vocab, and they were, um, like, I'm actually beyond that level, and so it, um, yeah, like, these, this one, this one specifically, with just one or two sentences, that, this is my Hindi level <laughs> for reading. <laughs> um, there's one that, I think this one might be a little, um, a little more complicated, but we'll see. Oh, but with the Chinese one, I wanted to show you guys. I really liked it. I thought it'd be fun to write out, um, some of the poems, Claire, really cool, and I love the artwork. Um, but maybe you can tell me, what's the difference between this and this? Is this simplified and that's complex, or is it totally different? Is it the same thing? Um, is one a different language? I maybe eh. So over here, there's that and that. I don't know. You guys gotta help me out. I don't know what this means. With Portuguese right now, too, like, I have plateaued. Um, bilingual, if you're at that, like, intermediate plateau where it's hard to get, it's hard to find reading that's interesting for an adult, um, but challenging at the right level, but, like, simplified enough, um, bilingual is my favorite app for the intermediate plateau. That's where I'm at with Portuguese, and so I'm reading a little bit. I'm just reading, like, a simple story a week is kind of my goal with that, and it's, I usually do it at my chiropractor's appointments, while I'm in the waiting room or whatever. Or there's a couple exercises I can read and study during. And so that's my, that's my Portuguese goal is to improve there. And then a lot of people there speak Spanish. And so, so I'm, I'm also trying to speak Spanish a couple of times because my Spanish is, like I said, it's bad. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to speak Spanish with a couple of people that work there. Hindi, I'm not doing much Hindi right now. I really should. I have been doing some basic listening. There's Anil Mahato is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Hindi teachers, Hindi gurus, <laughs> Mary Guruji. But he has some good videos that are like, um, interactive Hindi. I love that series. So if you're doing Hindi, that's a good one. I'm also, sometimes my chiropractor's appointments, I do Duolingo for any language. Also, there's an app. I'll try to put in the comment, the, the links down below if I remember it. But there's a Greek one that I've been, and I'm just learning vocab, largely so like for Bible reading and just for fun. When Whenever we have a foster kid, I'll leave. I get super stressed and like, I have to have something. So that was my, like, Greek was what I dabbled in when he left. I just like, was like, I'm just going to study Greek um, when I'm struggling with all of that changes and stuff. So... Yeah, so there's some of the ways that I learn languages, and like I said, like, you just kind of have to do it. It's not super easy, it's not, it's just, it's a, you gotta do it and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you, and you gotta try something. Just be in the language, um, every day, every week, whatever time you can. Five days a week for five minutes is better than 25 minutes on a weekend. But yeah, that's what, we'll see. I'll update you guys in a little bit. कैसे हो आप लोग मैं थोड़ा हिंदी भी बोलती हूँ मुझे आपका देश बहुत पसंद है आपका कल्चर और म्यूजिक है इतना डेट्स पोर्चुगीज कैसे हो आप लोग मैं थोड़ा थोड़ा हिंदी भी बोलती हूँ मुझे आपका देश बहुत पसंद है